This is episode number 211 of the Middle Country Public Library Podcast. Hello and welcome. I'm Sal DiVincenzo, here in the studio with my fabulous colleagues, Sarah Fate Hello. and Nicole Rambo. Hello. And uh, movie chat. Yay. It's a movie chat. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Nicole spun the proverbial wheel. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and uh, Nicole, which movie did you pick for us to watch this week? It was called Eagle vs. Shark, and it was by Taika Waititi, the director. A Taika Waititi? Titi. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to say his name. I'm going to say uh, T.W. from now on. Taika Waititi. I, it's I, not it's, a hard it's, name it's, to say. It's, I, 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 I trip over it all the time. Uh, so, yeah. So, 2007. Mm-hmm. Okay. Eagle vs. Shark. Mm-hmm. Uh, why didn't you tell everybody, one, why did you pick this movie? Okay, I googled underrated rom-coms <laughs> and foreign, too. I was looking, but Sarah already saw the one that I originally had picked. Um, I didn't want it to be someone that any of us saw. Sure. So I was going through it, and I saw this one, and I was like, okay, it looks a little quirky. And it was. And then I found out it was by Taika Waititi. And then The Clincher, the one that said, yes, let's do this, 88-minute runtime. I know. Can't I was any shocked. Better. Turns out it fell a lot longer than <laughs> I was like, how? <laughs> I was like, this was meant to be short. That's why I picked it. Why does it feel so long? <laughs> yes. So, so this is a... It I guess, felt this, long. This There's is a, a lot of like non-talking yes. moments. Yeah. If you like kind of artsy, artsy. Uh, cinematography. Yeah, I was going to say it's kind of artsy yeah. in, in some yeah. cases. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it has a... And it's funny, as I was watching it, I was like, oh, this is kind of giving me like Napoleon Dynamite vibes. Yes. And then when I looked it up on Wikipedia, that was one of the things that like critics had said. It was mm-hmm. sort yes. of like Napoleon Dynamite. And, mm-hmm. and so it, it well, does... When did Napoleon Dynamite come out? 2004. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is pretty close. So it's yeah. close enough and like it's, you know... Over in New Zealand, so maybe. So, yeah, so it stars Lauren Taylor as Lily, mm-hmm. and the only person that I recognized, Jermaine Clement as Jared. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Yes. Well, him and Taika are like buds. Yeah. yeah. They're like the Seth Rogen and uh, Judd Apatow of New Zealand. And one other person that I recognized after looking her up mm-hmm. is Rachel House, mm-hmm. who plays Nancy, mm-hmm. who is a does a lot of voices for Disney movies. Oh, okay. She was a so. sister. Yes, she yeah. was the, the sister. Don't they work yeah. together a lot too, her and, her and Taika? There's someone that he, like a woman that he always... Pro- probably yes. her. Yeah. So, yes. She's the only other woman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she, yeah. So so she actually, uh, some of her credits, I just want to, because, you know, I'm a Disney fan. But she what? was she was the, uh, the grandma in Moana. Oh. She was Topaz in Thor Ragnarok. Okay, yeah, yeah, Which is, yeah. you know, connecting yep. there. Um, mm-hmm. and she does also the, the you know some some other voices uh, for for the Marvel uh, universe, and she was also in uh, Soul, Pixar's Soul. Oh, so that's number one. Number two, mm-hmm. what is this movie about? It's a, it, it's a romantic comedy, right? So it is about like a, to a, a woman and a man. They're very very awkward, and like them kind of getting together in their like relationship. Yeah, like like that's like basically what it's about. It's a stretch called a romance. Yeah, it was romantic in its own way. It was kind of uncomfortable, but it was meant to be. Yeah, it was awkward, but it was so romantic. It's its own romantic way. Okay, for those two, for Lily, I I didn't wind up coming around to Jared. I I I thought he was kind of a jerk. Yeah, like I didn't like him, but I liked Lily. Yeah, um, no, she was, and I thought I was honestly fine. I thought Lily could do better. I was like Lily, just just leave him. I didn't yeah. like. I like the beginning. I thought the beginning was strong. It was funny. I like her at the. Um... So why don't you give us give us a? It's a spoiler alert here. Give us the actual. You know the the the, the story. You know just like, she's take working. Us this. So is, Lily is the main <laughs> character, and she's working you, at if, like if a, it's possible. If it's uh, possible, Sal, you're trying a McDonald's. Right. Let's say you know some fast food place, and she has Meaties a crush. Or whatever. Me, meaty boy. Meaty, meaty boys. Yeah, 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 meaty boy. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> so she's working behind the register, and then. She, Jared is like the male interest and he comes in every day and she like has a crush on him. First time he comes in, he doesn't even go to her register, even though it's the only one open. He decides to wait online. So at first I was like, oh, maybe he likes her too and he's just shy yeah. or whatever. Uh, turns out he's just a, an awkward kind of jerk because yeah. then he gives her like an invitation to a party to give to her coworker. Mm-hmm. So like, so then you're like, ah. but then you could, cause she's awkward. She's like, you could tell that she's awkward from the beginning. And then, but then with that interaction, you could tell that he's also kind of weird too. Mm-hmm. Um, so 
So she decides to just go to the party anyway with her brother, who I loved. I love the brother. Yeah. I thought he's he yeah. so, so he sweet. sweet yeah. yeah. So her parents are both passed away. So it's just her and her brother now. So they go to this party, and the party is to dress up as your favorite animal. And so she dresses up as a shark, and he dresses up as an eagle. So that's eagle for shark comes in. And it's the most awkward party. That was terrible. It's like there's <laughs> children there. And then, like, it's just very weird. And I think that's where I started to go a little. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> well, it starts off because you don't know if he is truly, like, awkward or if he is truly. You think maybe he's, like, uh, a popular person oh, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And then when you get walk into this room and you realize, oh, no, it's going to be one of those. Yeah. The kids were weird. That was weird to me that there were kids at this party. <laughs> yeah. um, even though there was, it's not like it was, like, drinking or anything. Like, they were actually playing a video game. Yes. And um and he's like the he's like the reigning champion and so but she apparently happens to be very good at this video game too so she gets all the way up to the finals with him and she lets him win yeah she's just sitting there staring at him mm-hmm. as he beats her even though she probably definitely could have beat him oh yeah it's kind of sure. like a Mortal Kombat game game playing, right yeah. yeah so like she definitely could have won but he, she's just like staring at him and then um, it's kind of like sad. You feel bad you're like no you can kind of like see where it's going yeah, like yeah. he's not like there's no redeeming characteristic from him yet like whatsoever not at all so then like they they kind of start dating it's sort of like instant right and he she goes to his work and like looks at him while he's working Loose, <laughs> loosely yeah is dating. yeah yes. and um i don't remember how and he was like do you want to be my girlfriend yeah <laughs> and she's like, say yeah that? Yeah, right? Like, yeah. And, like, immediately she's like, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, because she, like, had a crush on him for, like, the longest yeah, time. Exactly. And so she's, like, excited. And, like, you kind of feel bad. And you get it. Like, I don't know. I feel like we've all, like, liked someone and they didn't turn out to be who we thought they were, you know? Mm. So you can, like, relate on that on that level. He has this mission. or He has to go home because he has this <laughs> mission that he has to accomplish with this guy that bullied him when he was a kid. He's been training and he's going to fight him. So he has to go home, and he's trying to figure out how to get home because it's he doesn't have a car, yeah. and the buses take forever, and blah, blah, blah. This is kind of where it got into Napoleon Dynamite territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the brother, her brother, has a car, offers to uh, take them. So then we go to his home. We meet his family. It's pretty funny. So that's like where the other characters come in. And apparently it's, it's so hard to get around in this area of New Zealand that like you're stuck yeah. wherever yeah. you are for yeah. like a while. So she's stuck at this house for a, for week. a week. Yeah, a week. Yeah. Um, and then that's kind of like where you see. Well, they break up. Yeah. the re- I was going to say the relationship sort of like. A, like comes a few hours after they arrive. I mean, he's breaking up with. Yeah. Them. Well, then he's like, then we find out more about his family and sort of why the way he is mm-hmm. or like, you know, his dad is <laughs> when the dad stood up. <laughs> oh, my God. Did no. make me laugh. So, his yes. dad's in the wheelchair the, wheelchair, the whole yeah, time. Yeah. And yeah. so they're like pushing him around and he's like in a wheelchair. And then all of a sudden they're kind of going to somewhere he doesn't want to go. And he's like, stop, turn around, take me home, take me home. And then he just stands up. <laughs> yes. Turns. Yes. Yeah, stands up. <laughs> and then turns, picks up the, <laughs> the wheelchair, turns it around, yeah. like sets it up and then sits back yeah. down again. Yeah. <laughs> That part made me laugh. Yeah. So yeah, so then they break up, and he starts dating the bro- the brother's uh, ex, or you know, the brother who passed away. The, his like ex fiance played by T W. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so brother. yeah, and he's like never really in the movie. No, he's not. He's just he, like flashbacks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That and like so then he starts dating her, and so poor Lily is just um kind of hanging out with the family. Oh, and then he has a kid. That part, that I was, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's up? Because he comes, he, they're walking, and then they come up on two little, or one, like, teenager and one little kid, and the little girl's like, hi, dad. Yeah. And you're like, wait, <laughs> what? How long is this? Okay, I guess. Like, that part I didn't really get. Mm-hmm. I, was, I don't think it was, like, necessary. necessary. But um, she was a cute kid, though. Yeah. Mm. So that was nice. So, yes, yeah, so now Lily's kind of chilling with the family, but she's getting along with them, and, mm-hmm. like, more so than he gets along with yes. the family. Like, they like her, and she's, like, blending in, and... She's still awkward, but she's kind of finding herself a little bit. They go to a party, and she has a good time, mm-hmm. and she's meeting people and dancing with people, and he's still, like, again, there's, like, absolutely no character arc for him. I feel like he just kind of stinks the, the yeah. whole yeah. time, and then he doesn't really get, he doesn't really redeem himself. She has a lovely little, yeah. like, um, arc, but... Um, and also the father, too. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. by the end of the movie, 
the two of them, Lily and the father, are really close. Yeah. And she kind of gets him out of the chair. Right. Yeah. So everyone but Jared. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good story. And then, so he's training and training. And then it comes time for him to actually fight this bully who we haven't seen mm-hmm. um, the whole time. But he's talking about how, like, terrible he made his life, at, you know, in school and stuff like that. So he meets him at the park. And, um, and, he comes in and this man is in a wheelchair. So <laughs> this part didn't make me laugh too. So not him being in a wheelchair. But <laughs> so he comes in a wheelchair and he's like, and Jared's like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like, well, how did this happen? And he's like, it was a skiing accident. And then he's like, listen, I'm sorry for everything I did. It was so long ago. I'm so sorry. And then Jared has like these flashes of like his family and stuff like that. And you, you think he's going to like let it go. You think that he's going to be like, okay, I guess uh, it's it's been so long. And everything. and then he just goes and starts hitting him with the nunchucks, yeah. just beating him in yeah, the wheelchair. So true, yeah. And the guy like gets – and so then they start fighting and the other guy starts winning. Yeah, exactly, like this is yeah. how like horrible Jared yeah. is. And um, and the dad's like, what are you doing? And, and uh, everyone's just kind of like shocked at like what he did. And then he kind of, he just kind of realizes that he messed up or whatever. Yeah. And then – she forgives him. And, yeah, she does. You know. And then, uh, like, she I don't remember exactly what happened. You know, but she she forgives him, and she's like, listen, I'm going to go home tomorrow because it was finally the day the brother was going to come and pick her up or she's going to take the bus home. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like, I'm going to go home tomorrow, but you could change my mind. And so the next morning, they're walking, the family's walking her to the bus stop, and then, but he's there at the bus stop waiting for her, and he has, like, flowers and yeah. this candle that, that it was kind of like running throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. So he gives her the candle, he gives her the flowers, they're lilies. And she's like, oh, lilies. And he's like, oh, yeah. Like he doesn't even he realize doesn't that realize he's giving her not. lilies. Mm-hmm. He yeah. stinks. Yeah, he's he's not a good person. He's not good. But uh, she forgives him and they get him together. And that part was really frustrating. I yeah. didn't want them to get together. No, no, so, definitely not. But, I did like the part where, where he turns to, I don't know if it was his cousin or his brother or his friend. He's like, why didn't you tell me he was oh, yeah. in, in a wheelchair? He's like, I did. He's like, no, you did. He's like, yeah, because you said you're going to beat him. So he couldn't walk. So he couldn't walk and he started laughing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say it was filled with like, like, huh? Like it wasn't like hysterical. Like no. it was early Taika. I think Taika's a lot funnier now. Oh, yeah. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? I so it was definitely like early... Like, um, cause Taika and Jermaine did, uh, what we do in the shadows, that movie, which mm. was like very funny. Um, so it's just definitely like early work trying out something different or whatever. Um, the awkwardness was like v- sometimes like very, like yes. too, uncomfortable. too uncomfortable. awkward. Like yeah. when you find out how old he is and then he has a kid, it's almost yeah. like off putting how still strange he is. You yeah. know what I mean? I, like I said, I like Lily. I think she was sweet. But there are some moments again. It was it felt longer than it was. It did. It, it was slow. Yeah. Um. But it wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Sarah, you've been the waiting, worst movie you've been waiting, I was gonna say waiting patiently to say what you want to say. Well, I don't want to say anything. I liked it. You liked it? Yeah. yeah. I like him. I think he's funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Tiger is. Yeah. 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 It, it was like, kind of like awkward. a. It's kind of like a quirky, definitely yeah. quirky. Uh, you either like it or you don't. That's all I'm yeah, gonna say. Yeah, you either yeah. like that kind of movie or you, you're gonna sit there and be like, "What the f am I watching?" Yeah, yeah. Like it's stupid. Like yeah, you, you, yeah. That's how it is. You're yeah. either gonna be like, "Oh, I, I like it." I yeah. I think if you know what you're getting into. Yeah, I didn't. I yeah. didn't. It wasn't what mm-hmm. I was expecting it to be. I think I was expecting it to be more of like current Taika, mm-hmm. like a little bit quicker and a little bit more like. Not awkward comedy, it was just like funny. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was funny comedy, and it was a lot more awkward than I thought it was going mm-hmm. to be. Um, so yeah, I didn't. It wasn't what I expected. Yeah. I thought it was. It was all right. I mean, if you have something put on in the back, you know, like you want to watch. I guess part of me was kind of like concerned. I know it sounds weird, but concerned that people watching this movie might think this is the way New Zealanders are. Oh. Because there were what? no, oh. no, I know, but there were no normal people in this movie, except like maybe save, save for the bully. It, it's gonna think Napoleon, we're like right. Napoleon Dynamite, no. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying, it was just for a movie that, to me, was kind of like a, um, I don't want to say a love letter to New Zealand, but, you know, obviously, New Zealand itself was a big part of it. The scenery and the landscape and the beach and the... You know what I mean? I feel like they spent a lot of time. He spent a lot of time on highlighting s- certain things there. Mm. I wouldn't think. The only thing I, I would that. think that about New Zealand is that it's very spread out. When I thought it was a small 
<laughs> That's the only thing it made me think. Yeah. I thought it was like kind of a smaller island, but it seems like yeah, I had to look on are, a map where they were yeah, headed because like, they do mention the the town and yeah. Um, more spread out than I thought. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think the people are like Jerry. Yeah, I don't. I don't, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, it's mean, just yeah. I've seen some New Zealand films mm-hmm. before. This one of guys are once were warriors, and it's Whale yeah. Rider. Oh, Whale Rider, yeah, yeah. And but once were warriors. That's a, a very good movie. Um, very good, and it's about how the Maoris were treated, mm-hmm. are treated, mm-hmm. and everything like that. So that's why, like. I don't think people will think that. This is my first, you know, save for Lord of the Rings. This yeah. is my first. Do so you think they're all hobbits over in New Zealand? Zealand? No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It was just. I, I felt like there was kind of a personality that was that was being portrayed there, and 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 I don't know if it was on purpose or not. But uh, yeah. But well, I think you have to know also him, like yeah, like, right, like yeah, like you know, he one of my favorite. Shows as you know what yep. we do in the shadows, like it's hysterical to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's very much very dry and sort of like very much like like this. Yeah, mm-hmm. so yeah. that's why I found it funny because I was like, <laughs> yeah. No, there were a few there were a few <laughs> laugh out moment laugh out moments for me, which yeah. uh, you know I enjoyed. That just she has she finds this heart shape shaped rock. Oh yeah, with the and bird. She, <laughs> and she gets really up. So she finds it while they're yeah. dating. And when yeah. finally when they break up, she gets so upset she goes to the beach with her <laughs> with his with his daughter and she chucks it into the air and she hits a seagull and <laughs> yeah. kills it. It falls down. It's yeah. just, you know, stuff like that was uh was kind of funny laugh out loud. So Yeah. All right. So uh scale of one to ten, we usually do this, Sarah. I give an eight. Eight, okay. Yeah. Nicole? Yeah, I would say I wouldn't say like a seven and a half. Eight. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it an eight. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. It wasn't what I was expecting. Right. Yeah. It was very short. You yeah. know, I was I was surprised that <laughs> when I when I when I saw eighty eight minutes, I was like, yeah. yes, when this I, is the one. <laughs> when I hit the uh, the pause button for a moment and realized there's only twenty minutes left, I'm like, all right, they're gonna wrap this up. This yeah. is kind of this is coming up. So yeah. yeah, all right. So we do have this in the collection. So mm. if you want to uh, see it, we'll put it in the show notes where you can reserve your copy. Uh, and if you just happen to have Amazon Prime, it is available on Amazon Prime. Uh, no commercials. It's just a regular movie mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. available there. So thank you very much, yeah. uh, Nicole, for that mm-hmm. choice uh, for this week's movie chat. If you want to listen to older episodes with our older movie chats, you can find them at mcplpodcast.com. If you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button and use the comments below. Let us know what you thought of the movie if you see it or if you've seen it. Uh, and also... Uh, Click the like button, so this way you can tell us that we're doing the right thing here, talking about movies, <laughs> podcasts. Uh, and if you want to email us, we all, we would appreciate a nice email, podcast at mcplibrary.org. Do you email podcasts that you listen to? Do I email podcasts <laughs> that I listen to? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean that our listeners can't email us. I know. I'm just I wondering. emailed one. Did you? What did you say? Yeah. I said, will you want to be on our show? And I didn't get a response. Yeah. <laughs> So that was for there's a Gotham podcast out there, and I say you guys are rude. Yeah, we got like Gotham. That's what, what it's called, like the Gotham history, Gotham. Or oh, like, history! Like so oh, like it's a history it's, podcast. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. about New York right. City. Oh, okay, well, they'll never come on. Well, why don't we don't want them on now? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, rude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. out. Let's start a beef. <laughs> yes, yeah. that'll get us listeners. <laughs> yeah. So for Sarah Fade and Nicole Rambo, I'm Sal DiVincenzo. We'll see you on the next show. <laughs>